good morning collective. I only I only slept for like two uh three hours and then I'm back up. But I'm gonna get me some more hours of sleep, but I could not rest with this on my heart, this reading. And all of the collective is going yada, yada, yada. And that this so-called mother have been involved. Now, granted, some have. And some were broken themselves. This son saw this mother do a lot of things that was out of the norms. Like... This could have been a mother that she had other kids or this son could have been the only kid. But even with this son being the only kid, either the mother had to, I'm getting two different stories. The mother had to work way too much and she didn't have no authority over what was going on with this child, with this son, and this son was being babysitted by the grandparents or a babysitter, and this son were molested. That's why this son is the way he is. This son don't really have no like major connect with this mother because this mother had a high maintenance job where this mother all they did was work and it was other people involved with this son the reason for why this son is the way they are now this son could have had a father figure and this mother could have fair, fairly well not only been a single mother but could have been married to a father as well that the father worked a lot too and if the father was not working a lot this son seen something distasteful that turned them either it was from the mother or the father the father either was a cheater and took the son with him to see what this father was doing. And from that day forth, this this son just had a, a distaste for marriages, all of that. And that's where the everything, the bond, the um, loyalty in this son was broken from that day forth to do with this son or whatever that and they felt like everything was a facade with relationships and that's the reason why this son could not get it right with you this son is pretending like they're getting it right with this karmic but that's only because the karmic is there was there to every beck and call the karmic was doing things that you you know what I'm saying? Wasn't like for coming, for coming to the karmic was allowing this masculine to do things, either even do threesomes, all of that, because that's the thing that this masculine was into. He wasn't into, he don't have no real legitimate, but after what this masculine is going through. Oh, God is going to break him or make him Satan. He's allowing Satan to use him. And uh, a lot of things that this masculine is up against and what they've been experiencing lately, it's going to tell the tale. This masculine is going to it or get off the pot. And that's simply where they're at. But as far as, and you could have 
of whatever new. Now, granted, you've also dealt with a masculine or whatever that listened to his mother and his family, his brother, his sister. All of them was totally against you out of jealousy. This whole karmic family and they played around on this masculine's top, uh, acted as though none of these people really knew you. And I believe I did a reading that were pertaining to this a while ago. None of this Cormac family ever even really knew you, but they were so jealous of you. It was the way you carried yourself and how you were. And his sisters was jealous. He was jealous. And they always took up for this masculine anyway, because they were all Cormac women in this family that were used to working and giving all of their money and taking care of men. This whole Cormac family, all the women work and pay for the majority of the expenses to do with men. These were Cormac women that would tie themselves up with a, a, a partner or whatever, where they was having to pay the majority of everything. They would give these men that they were in partnerships all the authority over even their kids SSI checks and stuff like they would give the man the card knowing damn well if the government say that this that and the third is wrong with your child that that's that child's money but instead these Cormac women they wanted a man so bad in, in order for them to make a man feel like they're being a man, they would let these, would get into these partnerships with these different men and would give them all them kids checks, everything. Like the money that they worked for, they was paying everything. This Cormac family, I mean, these Cormac women that was in this masculine's family, so, therefore, you had some certain type of boundaries and respect that you stood by that you was not allowing this masculine to totally take event, and they felt like you should have been like them. So, they had much to say about you, and the ones that wasn't speaking on that aspect of you just letting the ma this masculine take fully charge over all of your dividends that you working hard for they were up over here watching you and stalking you and all of that to see what men would be interested in you to see what men was on your facebook on your platforms and all of that and they would literally with their pp brain go after the men that would just even like a post or picture or anything pertaining to you to try to make you feel some type of way like they could take whoever was calling themselves even interacting with your posts. This is how sick-minded this Cormac family was. Then after you broke loose from the Cormac family, they all were behind the scene creating havoc and call themselves being in a competition with you. These are Cormac people that the the masculine and his family would sit up there on Facebook, see how you dressing and all of that, and go try to cop an outfit or same attire. If it was army fatigue, whatever it was that you was wearing, they would go try to copy and all dress in the same attire or whatever it was that you were dressed in. This is how sick they were. Like, this is beyond me. I'm telling you, and these people were all behind the scenes doing things and saying things that wasn't true about you. And I mean, created them a whole campaign of lies that they literally could all be in trouble for doing. These Cormacs linked up, plotted up and with other people that already didn't like you out of jealousy and hate as well. And they 
I mean, just created them a whole to wipe you out clean. Not only them, but even your families started leeching on and all of that. These was leeches that that couldn't take, you know what I'm saying? So they created little roadblocks and all of that. Like it is sickening. Like I'm talking I this, all of this that then happened. Several of you know that this stuff have happened to y'all. Several, it's Cormac Tarot readers sitting up on platforms reading cards or even reading off of your life and making a storyline off of things that you're doing and they're all lies. Like, they just digging into something. They are also getting paid by gatekeepers to where these gatekeepers then hacked all into all different types of stuff and giving these people information to read off of your life. All of this is illegal and the feds is tapped in. Okay. All of this is illegal that they, they, actually committed terrorism on you this whole community that you're living in literally gang stalked harassed and they did it behind the scene where they thought that they were unseen untouchable but the lord almighty have people places and things that are getting ready to uncover some mighty well I'm not going to say mighty because they're not mighty like that. They presented themselves as though they were mighty and strong and big in the community. And these were the same people that live off of survival mode. They know that they can't show themselves as no drug dealer no more. They're not getting into businesses for no right standing reason. These are people that had to find another hobby to show to the public. But if this is a small community, a small city, they still setting themselves up because this is probably a community that drug dealers, all of them then went to the penitentiary before. Like this is like super sad. Like these people, they know that they can't just, be out on front street being this big drug dealer no more. So they had to find another hobby to make themselves look like they are cooking a bunch of food or whatever business that they, they selling shoes or they got a business in doing this because behind the scene, some of these people aren't legit. They are still, some of them still, that's just the front. Now, some of them did learn their lesson. They got out of prison. And yes, they are working some business or they even working and they live an honest life. Everybody is not doing that. But for these people that haven't healed, that's money hungry, greed, and you got this Cormac female that's been using your energy and coming up off your back for years. This woman have played in your energy. This woman have always played in witchcraft, have always went and looked into your fortune, have always like this lady been doing this and you couldn't understand the reason why you was set back like that. It was this lady. This lady despised you so much. Not only that, but you got others too that just despise your uniqueness. These people got different things wrong with them themselves, insecurities and overweight or too skinny or didn't like the way they look. And so you so happened became the target and you were the one that they made pay for all of this while they was in the midst of taking your energy to manifest. They were... Um, Lord, this is deep. These people, the son ain't got nothing from their parent because some of these people were brought up in foster homes. Their parents gave them away at birth. 
or the parent was on drugs, could not keep them, or the parent was an alcoholic. And if she did keep them, she had a lot of other kids. This lady was still an alcoholic. This lady stayed in the streets. Something could have happened with this lady in regarding to some of the fathers or the fathers to this man or whatever, like broke this lady off like something horrible. Like he put his hands on her or something that could have happened to this lady that caused her to be in a wheelchair or something like these people are people that's been doing stuff for a long time and they just been in a karmic rotating cycle forever and you so happen to be mixed up in the middle like it's so much though to do with these people you got karmic uh celebrities that they went through different situations these people have never healed these people have lived day for day and what they did was poor like with poor you know they emptiness and things of that sort into music if they was an artist or an actor or whatever they were uh interior decor whatever they were uh, an actor or whatever they threw you know what i'm saying and then what comes along with that when you're unhealed eventually god gonna keep coming to you and nudging you and things are going to start to get vague or whatever where god will not allow you to be able to get to the things that you need to be able to operate in whatever whatever job setting or whatever position that you are in he will make it harder because he be calling us out from dry places to heal. And when we don't do that, things get harder. So as things, as further along as these people got into their careers and all of this and places of positions that they were playing in, a lot of these people, when they wouldn't heal, or they abuse their powers beginning on, they were stripped of their they assets that came from their DNA. And so they had to find a way to create. So they started paying people to, you know, look up things, started paying for a team to gather information off of social sites in the cities you know, in different places or whatever. And that's how they are collecting things, other people's testimonies and other people's lives and that they're using to make movies and music and all of this 